In Torment plunges you headfirst in a world where madness rules. Search the scene for hints on the identity of the drawing girl and the events that caused her dementia. Go beyond the realm of reality and go inside the clues you find, but beware of what may lurk in her tormented soul. Finding clues is only part of your duty. You must also talk to the girl and get her to open up to you. In Torment offers a new story when starting a new game. You can select the level of darkness of the story to your liking. The higher the level, the more twisted are the events and torments. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to In Torment, the case of the drawing girl. This is a free, I guess it's a horror adventure slash visual novel game or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what genre it is or whether it even fits into any particular genre, but regardless, no matter what you classify it as, it doesn't change what the game actually is, so I guess we'll find out when we get into it. So yeah, link will be in the description to where you can play it for yourself if you are interested. I've heard very good things about it. I'm excited. Let's go. All right. If you want, turn out, turn out the lights. Make sure it's nice and quiet. Maybe play it at night if you want. And let's get into the torments. Let's delve deep into the darkness. New game. Select Drama Factor. May depict acts of sexual violence. Ugh, God. Simple story, dark story, or very dark story. See, the thing is... I've... I've heard that when you select the Drama Factor, the darkness. You actually get a different story. So it seems like for, com you know, to properly see the story, maybe you should see all of them. However, I've also heard that when you do all the different stories, there are some things shared between them. Some puzzles that are the same. And I think replaying sections would be bad. I don't like the idea of replaying stuff. That, that would take away from the experience. Um. Okay, you know what? I'm going to delve right in. <laughs> and as it says, warning may depict, may depict acts of sexual violence. So yes, everyone, this is going to be very dark. If you are, I don't know, squeamish, or if that bothers you, if you're worried you might not be able to handle it, you might want to turn away. I don't know what to expect, but I'm expecting it to be very dark. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> now I'm kind of scared. After reading that warning. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Search convent for clues with the pointer. Yep. You can scroll by touching the edge of the screen. Use the notepad to take down notes. We'll need to go beyond. Hold down over uh, uh, hold down over object. I'm sure I can pick all of this up. I'm sure it's pretty standard. Click to interact with stuff. Yep. Assignation briefing report? Assignation? Is that even a word? I guess it is. Last night, the local convent reported taking in an unidentified woman in shock. When they came to check on her this morning, she had drawn pictures all over the room. We moved her to the psychiatric institution where she is under surveillance. Detective, your talent for hunches is what I need to close this case. I should interview the girl when ready. Who is she? What does that say? She something alone. Oh, she was something something alone in shock. No papers, no ID, no memory. Why? Okay. So there's an unidentified woman in shock. And she had drawn pictures all over her room. She doesn't seem to have any memory. We don't know who she is. She has no ID. Head to convent. I really like the art style. It's very neat. Okay, so I'm inside of the convent and I'm looking at the pictures on her wall. Zoom. Go beyond. Enter a page or object. Okay, so I believe my hunches, as they're called, are kind of a... a power, basically. That allows me to delve into the object. Write your notes of the case. Okay, how does this work? Note to self. Mm-hmm. Some interview techniques. Well, I don't need to read that yet because I'm not interviewing her yet. 
Subject, the drawing girl, case number, etc., etc. Right, so this is where I'm going to put her I uh, her details when I know them. What is this? Suspect? Gender? Victim? Things to investigate hypothesis. Hmm. Oh, and there's where I can go to interview her. Uh, but I don't want to do that yet. What is this? That text is really hard to read. He file in what and end the game. Oh yes, I've also heard that this game... Um, you can... You assemble your case, basically. And you can submit it whenever you want. Whenever, like, whenever you feel like you're ready to submit your case, you can. And whether you're right or wrong will change the ending. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty high stakes. Alright, well, I have nothing to add there. I guess let's just... Whoa, oh, whoa, I can move these. Interesting. Whoa, what's that? Torn note. View the pieces you found. The text is almost unreadable. It's so tiny and blurry. Oh, well, obviously I need more. Well, these pictures are creepy. Arts and crafts. St. Helens Youth Activities. I like that there's like happy angelic music playing in the background. Hmm. Okay. Let's look for some more pieces. Oh my god. Looks like an alien eating a heart. Oh, there's another piece. We love... What does it say? We love sister something... Hmm. Oh, there's another piece. Cell phone? Cell phone. Check the girl's phone. Before I do that, let me grab this. I like the attention to detail. You can hear the rain pattering and you can actually see it here. Alright, well that's as far as I can go to the right. So let's take a look at what we have. Do I have enough to assemble this? I probably need one more piece, right? Yeah, I need one more piece. Where's the other piece? Um, Kel something, I hate you. Kel. Is that a name? Kelly? Kelly, I hate you or something like that? Where's the other piece? Enter four digits password. Ah, damn it. One, two, three, four? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, um, why is there an eye appearing? Oh, did you see that? An eye just appeared right here. Yeah, what the f what the hell is that? Can I click on it? No? Okay. That's not normal. There's an eye on the cell phone. I think the cell phone might be possessed. Where's the fourth piece? Is it really not here? I'm about to delve into the objects, because I think that's the only other thing I can do at the moment. I can't grab that. can move the box, but there's nothing behind it. Hmm. I guess that's it. Okay. Let's start delving into the objects, I guess. What is this one? Whoa. Holy crap. Okay, I just saw someone go off to the left. Whoa. 
My god. I love the art style in this. This is so well done. Look at this. Go back to the convent room. Okay. So I just need to play with this. I'm delving into the... Into the drawing. What the hell? I don't even want to ask. <laughs> wow. Alright, there's a church. Whoa. Hi. And it blinks. Oh god, okay. I'm gonna keep moving. So there's some creepy thing moving in the background. There's a church, there's a house, or whatever that was. And there's something here. Yeah, and then there's the monster house. What's to the left? Another eye. Whoa. <laughs> huh. Reading a newspaper? Yep, someone just reading a newspaper. Okay, let's go into the first one. The creepy house. Here we go. Hmm. Oh, that's what those little eye things are. They're hints. The hint system is turned on. It shows you what you can interact with, I think. I, I think that's it. Daniel hung a cross to bless the house. An old nun at the chapel told him that... I guess he uses religion to feel better. Hmm. Door unlocked. Living room empty. Weird noises from another room. I have a bad feeling. Empty living room door unlocked. Weird noises from another room. Uh-oh, that does not sound good. Message one. Hi, it's Annie. Are you home? I... I just had a fight with my mom. Please be there. I really need to talk. Dan drinks more when Kelly's over. Okay, it is Kelly. That's what the message must say. Kelly. Kelly. What did it say? Kelly's... Uh, Kelly, I hate you? Is that what it said? Something like that. Dan drinks more when Kelly's over. They broke up, but still hang out sometimes. Dan would be better off if she'd leave. Hmm. Is there anything else to look at? Nope, that's it. Okay. Okay, let's go here. Where, where is here? Bedroom. There's an awful lot of clothes strewn about. Is there anything I can look at here? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Nothing in here. You know, I should actually probably write down notes. Like physical notes. Kelly. Just to confirm that is her name. Someone who Dan someone who Daniel hangs out with. Daniel hangs out with Kelly. Hangs out with Kelly. Okay. What's in here? Let's go to the basement last. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, there's a fire. Something com ooze coming out of the drawer. Daniel definitely seems to be an alcoholic, given the amount of beer bottles I see here. Okay. Just gonna close that. Alright, down into the basement we go. Is that Kelly? I'm assuming that's Kelly's dead body, and it appears to be associated with that image of what looks to be like an alien eating a heart. Whoa, wait, what is this? What is that? What, what am I looking at? So I can... 
rip the heart apart. I don't know what that is. That almost looks like part of a boot. Like a boot impression or something. But I don't know what this is. Whoa. What the hell just happened? You killed him. His ex. You killed him. His ex. What? I don't know what that means. Hold on, wait, I'm not I'm not done. It's gotta be whoa, no, I don't. It's weird it takes me out of the house. Is there nothing else to investigate in there other than the body? No, I guess that's it. You killed him, his ex. Is that I don't I don't understand what that sentence means. His ex. From his ex? To what like what? I don't know, I'm getting the hell out of here. Bye. God, I really love the art style for this game. It's really good looking. Very creepy, disconcerting, and well executed. Alright, let's go in the church. He's a preacher, that Mr. Bailey. He offers a good word, but spreading seeds isn't a quick fix for one's wounds. Many secrets lie. Within this confessional, Mr. Bailey poured his soul more than once. A certain Kelly gnaws his soul. Kelly, 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 Kelly. That name keeps coming up. Mr. Bailey. Is that Daniel Bailey? Hold on, was there something else? Yeah, there's more. And that's this image. Daniel, may your faith save your soul from the torments of your last moments. I will always remember you, my dear cousin. The torments of your last moments. May your faith save your soul from the torments of your last moments. His soul needs saving. What did he do to need saving? I guess... Murdered Kelly? I'm Sister Pauline. Here at North Jamestown Convent, helping the community is our mission. I love hosting craft activities for kids. Good for you, Pauline. I know Mr. Bailey very well. A strong believer. He often comes to the chapel. His faith is solid. Okay, anything more? Nope, that's it. picture up here. Dan's nice, but his couple... Wait, Dan's nice, but his couple... What? He wants to end it, but she could overreact. I just want to help you. Is this the drawing girl's thoughts here? He wants to end it, but she could overreact. I just want to help you. So he's trying to break up with Kelly... But she could overreact. Hmm. I'm assuming Kelly is the one that's referring to. I love creating things with my hands. I craft and paint decorative objects. Dan and I usually craft stuff together. This is Dan. He's my cousin. We're very close. We have a lot in common. We got close when I was a teen. Wait, this is Dan. That's Dan? It looks like an alien. Is there anything sweeter than cupcakes? Sometimes I wonder if I'm 21 or still a kid. Wait a minute. Dan's the same. He's 25, but full of joy. Hello! Now I know. I'm gonna put this in my notes. Um... There's gotta be the drawing girl, right? Not Kelly? That's talking? Yeah. Yeah, drawing girl. Okay. Gonna write some physical notes. Drawing girl. 21. 
Dan. 25. Alright, let's plug that in. Age. 21. And again, there's nothing to confirm whether your answer is right or wrong. You don't know until you submit the case and see what happens. So I really need to make sure these are right. Okay. Um, how is this formatted? You know, the drawing girl could be Kelly, I suppose. It could be. Suspect. Victim. Well, the victim certainly seems to be Kelly. Wait a minute, apparently Kelly is not even on the list. Okay, well, I guess it's not. Nor is Daniel. Daniel's not on the list. I'm trying to figure out how this is for formatted. You know, how it's laid out. Things to investigate hypothesis. Well, at least I have her age. <laughs> oh, girl is victims. Okay. Alright, I guess I don't have any more information at the moment. Let's continue on in. My diploma in arts. I'm quite proud of it. It got me a job as a web developer. I'm happy to be working in my field. Is that information I need? Web developer. Diploma in arts. I guess I'll write this stuff down. She has a diploma in arts. Good job, apparently. Happy. Painting is my way of expressing myself. When I feel good or bad, I pick up a brush. I made this after graduation. It's my best. Alright, is that all there is to investigate here? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, yep, time to go. Okay. So wait, if I... Does that mean if I go into this church... Like, are some of these interconnected? Or wait, are... Like, what if I go into a different one? Is it just gonna take me to that place, but still the same hub, so to speak? Let's try it out. Like, let's go to this one. Because all of these are pictures from where I've just been. Yeah, it just takes you straight there. Okay, okay, okay. Whoops. I think it's time to interview her. Yeah. Yeah, so this note. I definitely... It must say, Kelly, I hate you. I hate you. The implication is that Kelly is a different person. Kelly, I hate you. Okay. I still don't know her password to her phone. Four digits. <laughs> Literally, the only thing I know is her age, and she has an arts degree, and had a good job, apparently. All right, interview techniques. Ah, uh, bonding. Mm-hmm. Relax. Shocking. Aggressive or uncomfortable topics. Luring. Lower tension and lead the suspect into revealing key infos. Beating. Not literally, thankfully. Jesus. Act of using multiple defensive remarks to break the ego of a subject. That doesn't sound right, but alright, let's go. Hello, uh, a named 20-year-old person, a 21-year-old person. Alright, the drawing girl. Tones. Friendly, reassuring, and neutral. Alright, um, let's remain neutral to begin with. Greetings. 
I'm a police officer. And I'd like to ask you a few questions. H Hello. Okay, she replied. That's good. Okay. Let's talk about you. Oh, I see the information's here. You're a web developer, you are 21. Okay, good. Miss, I would like to talk about you. Miss, I would like to talk about yourself and confirm some personal information. What's your full name? I... I don't remember. <sighs> okay. Well, let me see if I can jog her memory. You are 21. From my observations, you are 21. Can you confirm this? I... I don't remember. Ah, oh, damn it. You're a web developer. Is that correct? I don't remember. It's hazy. Hmm. Alright. Let's talk about the event. What is that? Question mark, question mark is pictured. What? I've seen that something, something, something occurred. True. Oh, does that mean I can't ask it because I don't have it entered in my notes? I think it does. Hmm. Why did you go to the convent? What happened next? What? Oh, I guess I probably shouldn't ask that out of order. Where did the events occur? Where, where did the events occur? <clears throat> Let me just autocorrect that myself. Where did the events occur? It happened at Dan's house. Okay. How did you come to witness these events? I was walking down the street to go see Dan. I knocked, but there was no answer. Do the door was unlocked, and weird noises. Okay, so yeah, she said she came into the house. I mean, when I was looking at that one... Uh, when I was in the house... I said there was weird noises, the door was unlocked. So that was her coming into the house. What did you see? How did the event unfold? I don't like you. Well, shit, that's not good. Okay, why did you go to the convent? I don't like... Oh, damn it. Okay, I pissed her off. Hmm... Let's talk about the victim. Given that I've pissed her off, she's probably not going to like this, but... Yeah, I don't have any of this information. Yeah, look at this. Would you like to confirm, uh, confirm the age of question mark, question mark, question mark? That's not going to work. Suspect. I believe a certain... Hmm. Age? Can you provide me the information regarding the age of the suspect? Go away. Go away. <sighs> All right. Let's uh, let's be friendly. I was neutral. Let's be friendly. Uh, can I even ask this? Given that it has a question mark, are, are you okay? You've been through a very tough event. I'm here for you. Oh, <sighs> she's gonna respond to that. No, go away, go away. I'm gonna compliment her on her art. Because it is very good. You're very talented. I saw your work and I wish I had your talent. You're 21, right? It's quite impressive for your age. I don't like you. Okay, well, this is getting better. Religion can guide you. Oh god, no. Are you a believer? Religion can guide you when in need. I am not going to say that to her. Unless... I mean, she did come to a convent. Maybe she... I mean, she... Trusts? Would she trust me more if I try to make her think I'm religious? Uh, let's try it. I don't really believe, but my cousin does. He always went to the convent near my house, seeking help. The nuns always help those in need. Okay, so that's why she went there. The nuns always help those in need. I believe you enjoy crafting. I do too. What do you like to make? Okay, she's getting better. Yes, I like arts and craft. I really like creating creating with my hands. They told me that you don't need uh, that you don't eat or sleep much. I know it's hard to do, but try a bit so you don't get ill. Th thanks. I'll try. 
Okay, she's starting to trust me. A little bit. Hmm. Explaining how you came to witness this event. What happened after? I saw her. She saw me. I took pictures of her. She punched me. I... I ran. I needed help. I need help. Wait a minute. I saw her. She saw me. I took pictures of her. She punched me. So... The suspect is a female. So it's not Dan. I'm gonna write this down. Female. I took pictures of her. Took pictures? How do you feel when we talk about this whole event? What do you think? I... Please. I don't want to remember anything. This is going to be hard. Do you feel like you could talk about what happened? I'm here for you. I'll try to talk about it. Okay, okay. This is working. How did you come to witness... Uh, do you feel comfortable explaining how you came to witness this event? It's hard. I don't like talking about it. I was coming back from my parents' house. I had a fight with my mom and needed to talk. Wait, I had a fight with my mom. There was something that said... There was a message left talking about having a fight. I had a fight with my mom and needed to talk. Okay. She had fight, I'm writing this down, with mom, coming from her parents' house. Can you talk about how the events unfolded? It would truly help me. I, I came in and no one was in the living room. I heard noises. I took my phone out. I went in the next room. Blood. Right, living room was abandoned. She heard, weird, she heard weird noises. Took her phone out. I went in the next room. Blood. Hmm. Maybe she'll talk about the victim. I know you are feeling terrible right now. I know this place can feel creepy, but talking about him will help. Thank you. I will. You must have shared activities. What kind of relationship did you two have? Uh, what did you do together? I'm... I... I was his cousin. We shared a lot and laughed together. We both liked arts and crafts. Okay, but who's the victim? Is the victim Dan? Okay, well... She was his cousin. Victim's cousin. Both like arts and crafts. It must have been very hard for you. I know it's hard to lose someone close. I understand how you feel. Is that gonna piss her off? Oh no, okay, okay, it's working. I, I can't believe he's gone. Why? Why him? Now what about the suspect? Do you think she's willing to talk about it? But I don't even have a suspect's name. Let me see if this will work. Are you comfortable if I talk about a certain... Who? Yeah, okay, it's not gonna work. Reassuring. With my help, you'll soon be able to go back to being a web developer. I will make things better. That's that's a weird and kind of creepy thing to say. You're still young at 21, and you have a lot to look forward to. I'm going to make sure you see all of that. All right, that's not bad. I, I don't care. I, I don't know anymore. If you help me with this, you'll be able to craft again. Oh, that should be good. She likes crafting. If only I could turn back time. If only I could change. Go back. Oh, Daniel. Why you? Okay, so Daniel was the victim.
Okay, let me let me go into the notes. Okay, girl is a victim's cousin. I don't know her name. Suspect. Victim. Victim is Daniel. Last name is Bailey, right? I'll have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure in the church that... Yeah, was, uh, I think his last name was Bailey. Uh, male, age 25. There we go. Okay. We're making progress. Suspect is victims... Oh, I have a lot of selections here. Alright, well, before I continue, I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Alright. Suspect is victims... I don't know, because I don't know anything about the suspect yet. In fact, the only real name I have that I think would be relevant to this, that could be the suspect, is Kelly. Is it even an option? It's not even an option. Hmm. Okay, well, now I have some of the victim's information filled out. Event. Money dispute, assault, I don't know. Money, duh, I don't know. I mean, motive, uh, weapon, don't know. There were, f there were quite a few possible weapons down there. I saw a hammer. I think I saw a screwdriver as well, but at the moment, I just don't know. <clears throat> oh, oh god, no, no, don't hand report in. This will end the game. No. Okay. Together, we can help Daniel, Bailey, by bringing justice. I want to save him from the darkness, but he's gone. Dan. All you need to do is give me more details on who Daniel was. I will be able to help. He was... My... C he was my cousin. We were very close. I'm sure that if Daniel... Uh, if Daniel be here, he'd tell you to talk to me. We took long walks together. Not by night, though. I hate it. The street. It becomes... So creepy. Dan, why weren't you with me that night? I can do that. I can put... In jail. I don't know the suspect's name. The more information you tell me about who did this, the more... This case can move forward. I don't know what to tell you. I came in and felt weird. I looked. I took pictures of her. I ran. You took pictures of her? What do you... What do you mean? Like with a camera? Where's the camera? Where are these pictures? I see paintings. I see drawings. But not pictures. If we could simply talk about what happened, it would make you feel much better. I... I don't want to remember. The blood. His body. Her eyes on me. Killing me with her eyes. Her eyes. I, I suspect she's talking about Kelly. Can you give me any other information regarding this event that would help this investigation? I don't know. Kelly Cook. Whoa. Kelly Cook killed Dan. I I can't say more. Kelly Cook. Okay. Uh, thank you. I didn't think I didn't think she just blurted out. Kelly Cook. Killed Dan. Okay. Let's see. Suspect, Kelly... Wait, what? Oh, 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 wait, 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 I need to switch it. Duh. Female. There we go. Kelly. Cook. Uh, cook. Mm, I don't know her age. <sighs> okay, Kelly, uh, I think... Ex-lover? I think she was an ex, wasn't she? Right, Kelly Cook. I think she was an ex. Let's go back and check. Alright, and where is the other piece of the freaking paper? 
And where's her phone's password? Kelly, I hate you. Yeah, there's nothing more in here. Oh, whoa, oh, that was it down there? I just clicked on it and I didn't even realize it. Well, yeah, there you go, Kelly, I hate you. Oops. I keep trying to drag the view, but you can't do that. You have to move the mouse to the side of the view. The side of the screen. Okay, um, let's go back here. Twenty-one, he's twenty-five, yep. Uh, he wants to end it, but she could overreact. I just want to help you. He wants to end it, but she could overreact. So at the moment, it sounds like he tried to end his relationship with Kelly, and she freaked out and killed him. Uh, let's go back to the phone. Which was where? Now, let me just confirm his name. Mr. Bailey. Yep, it is Bailey. Okay. The art style is so creepy. Hi, it's Annie. Annie, are you home? I just had a f fight with my mom. Okay, well, her name's Annie then. Now I know. Because the drawing girl is the one that had a fight with her mom. Are you home? I just had a fight with my mom. Please be there. I really need to talk. Annie. Let's go back down here. Alright, so yeah, there's a hammer. There's a screwdriver. Hmm. You killed him, his ex. Is this the picture of her that she was talking about? Okay, I guess she was his ex at this point. Or is about to be, anyway. Alright, um... Let's enter in her name. Annie. Or... Anne, I guess. But that's fine. <sighs> What's her last name, though? I don't know. Yep, I have no idea. All right, well, but we have a bunch more information, that's for sure. I don't know Kelly Cook's age. Motivation. No mode is available. Event. Passional crime? Is that even a word? I, I get the feeling that this game was written by someone who doesn't have English as their first language. Because some of the sentences are a little bit strange, like passional crime. That... I don't know if that's a word. I get what it means. A crime of passion. But passional crime just sounds bizarre. Anyway, um... I don't even see the hammer here, so I guess it could have been a screwdriver, but I don't know. I'm not going to put anything down until I do know. Definitely appears to be a crime of passion. He tried to break up with her, and she killed him, is what it looks like. Okay, back to friendly. Hi, it's me again. How are you? Hello, Anne. Hey, I'm okay, I guess. How can I help you? Okay, she's doing better. Uh, Anne, I would like to talk about Daniel. Is that okay? I, I guess. I miss him so much. I understand that you and Daniel went along nicely. He was 25, right? Yeah, that's all correct. We were so close. All I would really need to know is Kelly's last name. Can you help? I don't like saying this name. So disgusting, but I want to help you. Her name is Kelly Cook. Well, I mean, I already knew that. I'm actually not sure why I asked that, but oh well. 
I would also need to know if you know the suspect's age. Can you tell me? I don't remember it well. I think it was 27. Hmm. Think it was 27. Well, think is not ironclad, but I'll plug it in just in case. I can always change it. Alright, that's everything for friendly. Criminals must face the consequences of their acts. I can do that. I can put Kelly in jail. That, that monster. That vile, disgusting... I want her to pay. From your art, I believe the victim of this event is Daniel Bailey. Is this accurate? Well, I mean, sure, I already know the answer to that, but does it hurt to ask? I guess it doesn't hurt to ask. Yes, that's accurate. Okay. I would like you to confirm the age of Daniel Bailey. Is 25 correct? Yes, he was 25. It is my understanding that you were the victim's cousin. Is this true? Yes, that's right. Okay. I believe a certain Kelly is the culprit of the act you witnessed. Can you give me more information? Kelly, Kelly Cook. I hate her. I hate her so much. How is the suspect related to the victim? She was his ex-lover. Okay, that's what I thought. From your artworks, I've seen that passional crime occurred. True? <laughs> that is an awkward sentence. From your artworks, I've seen that passional crime occurred. True? Yeah. That is really badly written. I'm, I'm sorry to say that's, that's like cringeworthy. But <clears throat> anyway, going on. Ask? Y yes, that is correct. Kelly attacked and killed Dan. They had just broke up. Well, hell, I think I've figured out the case. Talk or be considered an accomplice. Oh, God, I'm not doing that. Wow, these are really mean. I mean, it is aggressive. So what do you expect? But, uh. You're 21 and you have a life. Don't waste it. Give me your full name and age. Well, I guess I'm going to have to be a dick. My name is Ann Moore. Moore. Ann Moore. And I already know everything else about her. That's good. What else do I need? Motive. Breakup fight. Weapon. I don't know the weapon. I mean, there is a screwdriver there, but that doesn't confirm it. I mean, there's a, there's a bunch of other stuff there, too. And for all I know, she just, like, pushed him down the stairs. He did seem crumpled into a heap near the bottom of the stairs, so that would fit. So let's see if I can get anything about that. Wants her to go free. Do you want someone else to get hurt? No, of course she doesn't. Um, I want to know the murder weapon. Passional crime ain't pretty, and if you don't start talking about it, you'll be considered an accomplice. How am I going to get the murder weapon? None of these directly relate to the murder weapon. I know a certain Kelly made you like you are now. Don't you want me to gather to give her what she deserves? I hate her. I hate Kelly. I want her to pay. Do you want this monster to be free? Do you want someone else to get hurt? That's not true. That's not what I want. If you want me to hunt down the author of this act, you gotta tell me more about her. Understood? Kelly Cook, Kelly Cook is Dan's ex-lover. She's 27. Find her and make her pay. I need the murder weapon. I already know all that, damn it. The event. Why did you do why did you go to the convent? Why not the police? Do you have something to hide? I, I don't know. I I took I took pictures of her and she saw me, so I ran. I don't remember anything else. Okay, talk or be considered an accomplice. I'm not an accomplice. I didn't do anything. Kelly even punched me.
I basically just have to ask everything at this point. Daniel Bailey got attacked, and if you don't start talking, there will be no justice. Okay, okay, just tell me what you want to know. I want this to end. God, I'm treating her like shit. This is terrible. I mean, this is all just going over the same ground. None of this really seems like it's going to lead to the murder weapon, and that's the only thing I need. I have all the other information. What was the weapon? <sighs> okay, I guess I'm just going to be a dick and ask everything. The more you sit there doing nothing, the more Daniel will keep suffering. Collaborate. I don't like you. God damn it. I thought you were good friends. I don't like you. Alright, I pissed her off. <laughs> I've really pissed her off. Oh shit, can I even come back from this? How you ended up here? I need to know how you ended up here. Go away, go away. God damn it. Have I burned my bridge with her now? Hold on, what is this one? I don't remember seeing that. Where is this? Wait, what? Oh, you have to click? Hold on, what, you need to click on the monster? Or whatever that is. Hold on, come back. You click on it and you see this. Staring eyes. What looks like a little girl and a bunch of reaching hands. Hmm. But what am I looking at? Okay, is there anything else I've missed? I noticed that there's some text written on the pictures. I wonder if they join up to form anything. I think I've seen all of these. Yeah. Alright, do they join up to form anything? It's got text, that's got text, that has text. This has text. So does this. Okay, these all have text. Hmm. Is that... Does that make anything? Doesn't look like it. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. This... Uh, not really. It doesn't seem to form anything. Yeah, that, I don't think that is anything. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. This might be something. Hold on. E. L. P? Help? What does it say? It? To... to I... What the... F what does that say? It? To... It's a T and then an O. Okay, those definitely join up. Help- oh, it just says help me. Hmm. What is the freaking murder weapon? Let's go look at the murder scene again. Whoops. 
There's a screwdriver. There's a beer bottle. There's a hammer. There's stairs. Could have been pushed down the stairs. Hmm. Weapon. Not drugs, not a pistol. I mean, screwdriver? Maybe. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi, it's me again. How are you? I don't like you. I don't want to speak to you. <sighs> Uh, I'm here to help. You can trust me. Uh, okay. With my help, you s you'll soon be able to go back to being a web developer. I will make things better. I want to go home. I want to go away. I want to go back to before yesterday. Alright, now we've got to go back to aggressive. These are the only three options left. You need to cooperate or you'll lose it all. You won't be a web developer anymore. Talk to me. What? Please. I want to help you. I want to go back. Whatever you like to do in life, you won't be able to do anymore. Unless you collaborate. I don't like you. God damn, I'm pissing her off again. Um, maybe you, t maybe you thought the convent would save you, but in real life, you have to talk to me. I don't like you. Alright, well now I've just pissed her off and now I can't do anything. <laughs> so yeah... And I still don't know what the murder weapon is. There is a screwdriver there, so that could have been used. However, there's also stairs, so she could have been unarmed and simply pushed him down. Oh god, I still don't know how to get into her phone. Shit. Has anything had a number? Has anything at all had a number? Like, where would I even find it? Is there anything in my notes that would indicate that? Hmm. It's four digits. Oh, no, no, do, do not send it in. I really need to get into her phone. Okay, let's... Hold on, it's not in the note, is it? No. Okay, let's go back. And let's take a look at this stuff again. She said she walked from her parents' house. That's the house where all the shit happened over there, so I'm assuming this is her parents' house, over here to the right. Yep, yep. Oh, shit, whoops. I love crafting things with my hands. I craft and paint decorative objects. Dan and I usually craft stuff together. This is Danny's my cousin. Mm -hmm. Cupcakes. I guess I could try 2125. Their ages put together, but why would that be the password? Diploma in arts. No dates, though. Good or bad, I, good or bad, I pick up a brush. I make this after graduation. It's my best. I don't see any numbers at all in the environment. None. Anything here? No. May your faith save your soul from the torments of your last moments. I always remember you, my dear cousin. Gotcha. Nope, actually didn't get you. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Blood all over her hands. Wait, like, literally, like, unarmed? Wait, there's something here. I saw her. She saw me. I ran. Oh. 
I missed some stuff. All over her hands. That makes me think she was unarmed, but I mean, even if she was holding a tool, it certainly could have gotten all over her hands anyway. Hmm. It's Anne. Beer, drink more. Well, there's scissors. But if they're there, then I guess they weren't used to murder him. That's on fire for some reason. I don't know what the hell that's about. <laughs> Looks like there's a ribcage and a massive tongue inside of there. I'm looking for more covered blood. Wait a minute. 12, 12, 12. Hold on, that's a number. 12, 12. Hmm. So there might be secrets hidden in the environment. Any other secrets I can click on here? Doesn't look like it. You killed him, his ex. I'm thinking unarmed, because of the whole blood on her hands thing. I'm gonna go with unarmed. Alright, is there anything I'm missing? Just like with this, I was missing the little blood things that you can click on. I saw her, she saw me, I ran. I mean, if she punched her, since she punched Anne when Anne saw what she did, that makes me think she was unarmed. Because if she was armed, why would she punch her? Wouldn't she kill her? I still don't have the password to her phone, though. And that really disturbs me. What is on her phone? It could change everything, for all I know. Damn it. Where would it be? I guess I'll try the numbers I have. I just don't think they're going to work. I mean, they're ages together, and then 12-12, based on those crates that were in the basement. But why would that be the password? I don't know. Let's try. Nope. 2125. Wait, I gotta clear it. Uh, let's go back. Wait, what the f... How do I clear it? Oh god, I broke the phone. Uh, let me try going somewhere and coming back and see if that fixes the phone. Nope, what the hell? Okay, I'm going to assume it's going to work, even though it doesn't appear to be. 2125. It's not even saying error anymore, it's just not working. Okay, I think I broke it. Okay, well, what the hell, I'm going to submit my case. Submit my case, I mean, I don't know what else to do. There's nothing more to say to her, right? There's a case number, but that can't possibly be the password to her phone, because she wouldn't know that. Is there anything more to say to her? Greetings. Hey, I'm okay, I guess. How can I help? Oh, she seems like she's doing pretty well. Is there anything I can say at all? No, there's literally nothing I can say. Okay, that that's it. What else can I do? Here we go, I hope I'm right. Hand report. By handing in the report, your team will use what you found and close the case. Yep. The next day. On Friday, November 15th, Anne Moore was found dead at the local psychiatric institute. She used pills to commit suicide. God damn it. This note was found on her. The demons never rest, never sleep, in torment. They enslave my soul. I want this to end. All must end. The case remains unsolved. I failed? 
Holy shit, I failed. Damn, I... Okay. What did I miss? Okay, um... Hmm. I'm, I'm not satisfied with that. I'm not done. What the hell did I miss? Maybe I need to go to the different dif the different darknesses ratings and see if that changes it and gets me more information? Yeah, I'm not going to end on that. Wait a minute, I can... I can go into her mind? Oh, God. Oh, what the fuck? Um, what do you want? I don't want to see you. Leave me alone. What the fuck? I'm sorry about what happened to you. Jesus, this is creepy. Look at that face. Ugh. Just leave. Leave me alone. I'm just here to help you. That's all. No need to be on your guard. It's all your fault. It's because of you. You made me do this. Whatever I did... I'm sorry, whatever I did, I'm very sorry. It doesn't matter what you do. Darkness escapes. You don't even know what Kelly looks like. I see your point. But that's not what's tormenting you, right? You let the darkness win. I'm just a victim. You let darkness win. It's you who gave up on everything and took your life. Only you. You put me here. You helped me. Fear is not the answer. Fear will only drag you down even further. Okay. Let's go with that. What have I done? My life is gone. All I have left are my torments. You've killed yourself. You let your torments take over. Fight or be forever lost. Why bother? Why fight? I'm lost in darkness. You can't help me. Stop that. Stop that right now. It's that attitude that killed you. Fight. Fight for your soul. I... You think so? Damn right I do. I'm willing to travel into darkness to help you. Thank you. My torment can end. Goodbye. Thank you. My torment can end. Well, at least I... Thank you. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Oh my god. Well, the case remains unsolved, because I presumably messed it up? I'm assuming that's not the real end of it? Like, is that how it always ends, or did I just mess it up? I think I messed it up. But I like the fact that the game actually gives you the chance to kind of put her soul to rest. Although even in putting her soul to rest, it's done in an extraordinarily creepy way. Yeah. Okay. Quick game, progress will be saved. Back to menu. Okay, let's try again. This time on a different darkness level, and let's see how it changes. Let's go with the lowest one. Yeah, let's go with the lowest darkness level. I still don't know if I messed up, or if that's just how it's supposed to end. Okay. Let's go with simple story. Another game is saved. Start a new one. Yes. Loading, loading. Head to convent. Whoa, whoa, that's different. Yeah, okay, there are some different ones. Alright, is there still a mess? There's, yep, still a message.
Check that message out before I look at him. I see two new drawings. Number two. Number three. And number four. Is that the same one as before? Whoa, no, it's different. Okay, it is very different. Wow. Okay, uh, Christopher, I hate you. What the hell? Wait a minute, that flower, isn't that the one that was on her chest? When she was dead? Whatever that is. Alright, so I can't open this. No phone? No phone. Whoa, oh, whoa. I can move this? I did not know that. Well, crap. Maybe her phone number was behind there or something. Oh. There's a... I just clicked randomly and there's a secret compartment. Uh... There's her phone. But it still needs the password. Okay, it pays to click. A lot. Now I'm going to click on everything. <sighs> I actually kind of already clicked on uh, some spots. Thinking maybe I could like peel it like this. Thinking maybe I could peel the wallpaper or something. Didn't work though. Yeah, there's nothing back there. Nothing there. Alright, well, I guess I can't just blindly enter the same information, although some of it is probably the same. Like, I'm sure her name is still... Wait, is her name different? Holy shit, I think her name's different. Because the options that were there before aren't even there. Okay. I guess there's basically three games within this game. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder how much else is different. Let's check out these new ones. Looks like we have some more hidden text. I saw him, he saw me, I ran. Okay, so she saw someone else do something, but this time it's Christopher. Blood all over the screwdriver. Okay. I need to write new notes. Screwdriver. Murder weapon. Christopher is murderer. Any more hidden? Nope. Alright, let's start from the right. These are in a different order. These these houses are randomized or moved to a different place. Because that was not there before, was it? I don't think it was. Yeah, these are different. Oh my god, that is the whitest widescreen TV I've ever seen in my life. What the hell kind of an aspect ratio is that? Jesus. Fred's nice, but he has alcohol problems. When he drinks too much, he insults people. I wish you'd care about... about you as much as I do. Fred. So Fred is probably the victim. Victim? TV is like a peek in your neighbor's window. That's why I love channel surfing. Fred does that too, so we do it together. Okay, yeah, Fred. And they're friends. This is Fred. He's my brother. Okay. Brother. They're close. A lot in common. He's more than my bro. He's my best friend. Donuts could just be the perfect food. Sometimes I wonder if I'm 22 or still a kid. Fred's the same. He's 23, but full of joy. 
All right, Fred is 23. And she is 22. Is there something more in here? Nope. Diploma in Arts? All right, that's the same. Painting is my way of expressing myself. Yep, yeah, that's the same too. All right, hold on. Before I continue, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue exploring. Actually, let's click on that monster. Come back here. There, okay, it takes you here. All right, back into the church. Mr. Black. Okay, his last name is Black. Um, what was his first name? Fred. So, Fred Black. Mm-hmm. Blackport is soul. Yeah, alright, so... Wait, 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 what was that? A certain Chris gnaws his soul. Yep, so Chris is the murderer. Mm-hmm. Freddy, may your faith save your soul from the torments of your last moments. I'll always remember you, my dear brother. Alright, let's go back to the crime scene. Door unlocked, living room empty, weird noises from another room. Yep. I hate it when Fred and Christopher drink. They can't seem to have fun without booze. Damn it, why don't you grow up? Message one. Hi, come on, pick up. It's... Wait, it's So? Is that her, is, is that her name? So? Too bad you weren't with us at the bar. I'm on my way. I'll tell you more. It's so. So? Like, short for Sophie or something? Bless the house. Yep. And there's the crime scene again. Oh, God. New image. <laughs> Again, it looks like boot prints. Oh. Smash. Oh. You killed him, his friend. Right, so Christopher was Fred's friend. Alright, let's get this information down. Sonia or Sarah? I guess so would be short for Sonia. I, I don't know. What's her age? 22. Last name is... Well, that's a uh, brother of Fred Black, so it would be Black. Girl is victim's... Well... Sister, she said that he's more my best friend. But technically... I mean, I guess he's both, right? Or she's both? I'm just gonna go with sister. Yeah. Okay, suspect is Christopher. Do I have his last name? No, I don't have his last name. Age, Christopher, Christopher, Christopher. No age. Victim is Fred. Black. 23. Suspect is victim's brother. Okay, doing good. Weapon would appear to be... Uh, what was it? Screwdriver. Yeah, definitely screwdriver. Motive, I don't know. Alright, let's go talk to her. Hey there, nice to meet you. <laughs> that is wildly inappropriate. Uh, neutral. Greetings, I'm a police officer. H Hello? All right, let's be reassuring. I'm here to help. Sonia, I'm here to help you. You can trust me. I I don't remember. With my help, you'll soon be able to go back to being a graphics designer. I will make things better. I don't remember. 
Let's be friendly. Sonia, are you okay? I don't remember. Okay, well, she's perking up. They told me they don't eat or sleep much. I know it's hard to uh, it's hard to do, but try a bit so you you don't get ill. I don't remember. Hmm. You are very talented. I don't well, she's saying I don't remember, but she's perking up. I think you like TV. I also do. What's your favorite show? I don't remember. It's hazy. All right. Let's change tactic. Let's talk about the event. Where did the events occur? It happened at Fred's house. How did you come to witness it? I was walking down the street to go see Fred. I knocked, but there was no answer. The door was unlocked and weird noises. And what did you see? It's blurry. Blood. Screams. It was horrible. These eyes. Why did you go to the convent? I took pictures. Then I... I don't want to talk about this now. Alright, let's be back to being friendly. Religion can guide you. I don't really believe what my brother does. Okay. Okay, yeah, most of these things are the same, but some of it's changed. Okay, Sonia, I would like to talk about Freddy. Is that okay? I guess. I miss him so much. He was 23, right? Yep, that's all correct. We were so close. Um, since I can't ask things multiple times, I want to keep my friendly stuff kind of in the bank to perk her up in case I piss her off too much. The victim is Freddie Black, right? Yes, that's accurate. The suspect is the victim's friend. Okay. Actually, I don't even need to write that down. I can just put it in right now, right? Yeah. Oh, whoa, oh, whoops, I put this in wrong. Suspect suspect is victim's friend. Whoops. Yeah, the girl is victim's sister. Yeah. All right, what was his last name and what was his age? The age of the suspect. I don't remember. I, I think it's 21 years old. Okay. Can you give me more information? Christopher, Christopher Brown. Brown, okay. Okay, well, I'm doing really good so far. I have virtually everything except the motive and the event. Hmm. All right, let's be aggressive. Do you want this monster to be free? Do you want someone else to get hurt? That's not true. That's not what I want. Give me information on him. Christopher Brown is Fred's friend. He's 21. Find him and make him pay. Shit, I should have been asking about the event. Whoops. All right, all right. Friendly, friendly. Can you talk about the event? I'll try to talk about it. How did you come to witness it? It's hard. I don't like talking about it. I was coming back from the club and thought I'd give him a surprise visit on my way home. Can you talk about how it unfolded? I, I came in and no one was in the living room. I heard noises. I took my phone out. I went in the next room. Blood. What happened after the event? I saw him. He saw me. I took pictures and ran away. I needed help. I need help. Alright, let's be aggressive. Where were you when it unfolded? I, I don't know. I took pictures of him and he saw me, so I ran. I don't remember anything else. Talk or be considered an accomplice. I don't understand. Damn it. <laughs> that didn't work. I need to know more about the event. You were the victim's sister. Yep, that's right. Confirm the victim's age. 23, yep. You were 22? Okay. Just checking. Criminals face consequences. 
That, that monster, that vile, disgusting... I want him to pay. Talk about it and feel better. I, I don't want to remember. The blood, his body, his eyes on me. Give me more information. I don't know. Christopher Brown killed Fred. I, I can't say more. Damn it, what was the event? We can help Freddy Black. I want to save him from the darkness, but he's gone. Fred. Give me details on Freddy. He's my bro he's my brother. We were very close. Okay, I already know that. Damn it. Do you know Christopher's age? 21, yep. Christopher's last name. Brown. Yep. Talk about Christopher. That name. That hideous name. I hate it. How do you feel when we talk about this whole event? What do you think? I Please, I don't want to remember anything. Hmm. I'm missing details. I need to know the motive and I need to know the event. All right, let's go back. He has alcohol problems. He ins when he drinks too much, he insults people. I wish you'd care about you as much as I do. Okay, so maybe that was it. Whoops. An assault, right? The motive was a drunk dispute. I, that seems right. But again, I'm missing her cell phone number. How do I get her cell phone number? I mean, I, I mean, her cell phone password. That's what I mean by number. Huh. I don't know. I mean, where could it be? What am I missing? Whoa! I just blew on the window and it made an eye. God, I keep finding this creepy stuff that I didn't know existed. Jesus. I'm keeping a close look on the mouse to see if there's anything I've missed. Digit password. Honestly, the phone seems to be completely broken. At this point, even if I had the password, I don't know if it would work. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna submit it. Yep. The next day. Please don't tell me she's gonna... Oh, fuck. <sighs> she used pills to commit suicide. The demons never rest, never sleeps. I want this to end, all must end. It's the same. Can I save her? I don't... Like, I don't understand. Have I messed up, or is this... Oh, God. That face is creepy as hell. Have I messed up? Or is this just how it's supposed to end? I don't understand. I don't know how to tell. I'm very confused. I feel like I'm failing. Because it says the case remains unsolved. Alright, well... I'm doing this again. I'm sorry. Leave me alone. 
No need, be, no need to be on your guard. I'm just going to do the same thing I did before. Yeah, it's the same ending, basically. You do this to yourself. Yeah, just go aggressive. There's no way I'm staying here. I hate you, leave. There's no answer. Never will be. No one can help me. Okay, well, I messed that up, but anyway. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Um... This is getting really creepy. Whoa, wow. Okay, her eyes are all, like, black. Um, I'm gonna leave now. Please take me away from this. This is creepy. Back to menu. Oh. Like, the, my different pathways through the game seem to be adding up. Because you saw her body started out by saying thank you, where it didn't before, right? So, like, it's remembering what I've done, I think? I don't know, I don't... This is very confusing. I don't know if I'm failing or not. Alright, let's do two. Dark story. Start a new one. Yes. I don't know if I'm failing or if I'm not. I don't know if I'm supposed to play all three of these to complete it, or if they're simply different pathways through the story and all are valid on their own. I don't know. But if I've got the format down, I'm guessing there's two new ones, right? I see one new one. It's gotta be a different murderer, a different name. Still nothing behind the freaking box. What if you can pry up any of these floorboards? Hmm. There's a thought. Alright, let's get the message. There's a new one. Yep, there's the second new one. Alright, this time this does not open. That's different. Now it's down here, just like it was on difficulty, or not difficulty, but darkness 3. The eye was already there. Which is weird. And the password's already entered. Like, what? I feel like I've kind of... I think I've kind of broken the game or something. At least partially. What the hell does that say? Vinny? I honestly don't know what that says. Is that a V? Jimmy? Oh, Jimmy. That's a J. Okay. Any secrets? What about the floorboard idea? Any floorboards? That I can pry up? Doesn't look like it. Well, I mean, I guess I already know. The suspect is Jimmy. Alright, let's look at the new ones. Blood all over his hands. I saw him, he saw me, I ran. Again, hands. So unarmed. God, that is so creepy. Blood pouring down his face. Is that the victim or the murderer? I saw him, he saw me. I'm guessing that's him looking at her. Alright, let's go to the murder house. That's a bong. N Ninny? Ninety Doesn't use alone? Who's with her? So that was who was murdered. N Ninny? Ninety? I don't know how you pronounce that. I'm gonna go with Ninny. Because Ninety sounds incredibly dumb. Victim. 
be a drug dispute? Doesn't use alone, who's with her? Yep, so most of this is the same. Oh, shit. Okay, the body's in a different spot. Well, that's different. I see money. Money symbols. You killed her. Her friend. Alright, so... Killed by friend. I'm thinking drug dispute. Has something to do with money, because you see money symbols everywhere. Yeah, definitely. Alright, that's, yeah, back in here. Alright, what's downstairs? Nothing. Some weird stuff slithering about. But other than that, literally nothing. Okay. Miss Reeves very well. Alright, so her last name is Reeves. Ninny Reeves. Safe. May your faith save your soul. Yep, it's all the same. Alright, this would probably be the age, right? Anything sweeter than cupcakes. Alright, so she is... Oh, I forgot to check the message on the phone, didn't I? I did. Alright. 22... Nini's the same. Oh, no, she's not the same, she's 21. I simply love football, it's traditional. Or, it's tradition. I'm even involved in our amateur league. And Nini often comes cheering for my team. She's my stepsister, okay. Alright, the down, stepsister. Very close. About as close as sisters can be. But she has money problems. She's nice, but she has money problems. She owes a lot of money to a loan shark. I wish you'd care about you as much as I do. Okay. Diploma in arts. Mm -hmm, that's the same. Alright, let's write down some details. Um, last name... Uh, Jim. I don't know his last... I don't know his last name. Victim's name is Jimmy. Uh, not, sorry, not Jimmy. Ninny. Hold on. Female. Nini, Niney, whatever, Nina. Okay. I guess that's short for Nina. Last name is Reeves. Victims. Suspect is victims. I don't know, actually. Age. 21. Alright. And her name is. Wait, I don't have her name. No, I don't have her name. However, I do know she's 22. And I know she is the victim's stepsister. Alright, let's, let's go find her name. Hi, come on, pick up. It's Meg. Okay. Couldn't work out with me. I'm on my way. I'll tell you more. Meg. Meg, Meg, Meg. Megan Reeves. Oh, wait. No, no. Stepsister. So her last name is not Reeves. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Event. Well, definitely money dispute. No doubt about that. And she owed money to a loan shark. So probably loan payback. 
All right, let's go talk to her. Let's be neutral. Greetings. Hello. Let's be re. Yeah, let's be friendly. Megan, are you okay? I I don't know. Don't need to sleep yet. Yeah, these are all going to be kind of the same. Like I don't really need to go through them. You're very talented. I, I don't... Oh, wait, is she getting pissed off or is she getting... Uh, she doesn't look friendly. Let's be reassuring. I'm here to help. There we go. I don't remember. You are going to be a painter again. You're still young at 22. All right, let's talk about the event. Talk about it and feel better. I don't want to remember the blood her body, his eyes on me. Give me more information. I don't know. Jimmy Cook killed Ninny. I, I can't say more. Okay, Jimmy Cook. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Okay, Cook. What else do I need to know? Jimmy Cook. I need to know his age. Um, I need to know what the sus how the suspect is related to the victim. Hmm. Tell me about Nina. I guess I miss her so much. She's 21, right? Yep, 21. It's been very hard for you. I can't believe she's gone. Why her? Tell me about Jimmy. The name, that hideous name. I hate it. Or do you know his last name? I do not know his age. 29. Alright. I need to know her last name. You like football? I do too. Yeah, I look for I look. For, God, I can't talk. I like football a lot. It's a great sport. I've always been a fan. Religion can guide you, but my stepsister does. Mm -hmm. You'll enjoy football again. If only I could turn back time. If only I could change, go back. Oh, Nina, why you? Okay, you're a painter. Yep, that's correct. I'd like to talk about you. Okay, my name is Megan Tyler. Okay, Tyler. Got it. Got that. Have all of this, except I don't know how the suspect is related to the victim, and I need the weapon. So, let's focus on the suspect and the event. Jimmy's the culprit. Jimmy Cook. The suspect is the victim's friend. He was her friend. Okay. Well, then does that have anything to do with the loan shark? Because I don't think her friend would be the loan shark, right? So maybe it wasn't about a loan payback. But maybe it was a money dispute about drug money? Hmm. The age of the suspect. Do I have that? Yeah, I do. 29. Money dispute is pictured in the art. Yes, that is correct. Jimmy attacked and killed Ninny, all because of her loan. Okay, so it is because of her loan. But why? I mean, if he was her friend, then certainly he was not the loan shark, right? I mean, who the hell would become friends with their loan shark? Where did it happen? Ninny's house, yep. How did you come to witness? To walking down the street to go see Ninny? Details. Blurry. Blood. Screams. Where were you when it unfolded? Let's be a dick. I took a picture of and, uh, and she and he saw me, so I ran. Hmm. I need to know the weapon. I've got everything except the weapon. Talk or be considered an accomplice. 
I'm not an accomplice. I didn't do anything. I took pictures of him and he saw me, so I ran. Why'd you go to the convent? Did I... Yeah. Hmm. Can you talk about the event? I'll try to talk about it. How did you come to witness it? It's hard. I don't like talking about it. I was coming back from my gym and I thought I'd give her a surprise visit on my way home. Can you talk about how it unfolded? I was in the living room. I heard noises. Yep. I saw him. He saw me. What do you think? I... Okay. She's not going to tell me what the weapon was. I mean, the scissors were on the table. Which is, I guess, suspicious. Blood all over his hands. That's all it says. I don't, I'm gonna go with scissors. I mean, it's what was nearby. Okay. Submit, I guess. The next day. Let me guess, she's dead. Is she gonna have black eyes? Oh, fuck. That is really creepy. Jesus. Case remains unsolved. And now your face is gonna change to that! Which is not any more... It's not any less creepy than it was before. I don't want to see you. I'm sorry. Alright, let's be better about how I do this. Leave me alone. I'm here to help. It's because of you. You made me do this. No, you did this to yourself. Darkness escapes. You don't even know what Jimmy looks like. That's not what's tormenting you. You put me here. You help me. Fear is not the answer. My life is gone. All I've left are my torments. Fight or be forever lost. Why bother? That attitude killed you. Think so? Yep. Goodbye. Thank you. My torment can end. Okay, her torment ended, but her eyes are still fucking black and creepy. Okay, I don't get it. I, like, I don't get this game. I don't understand. Am I failing? I Like, the game's not communicating to me very well. I don't understand what's happening. Am I failing? Or is this just how it's meant to end? And these different darkness settings, are they supposed to be... Like, are you intended to play through all of them? Or you just intended to play through one? Like, I don't get it. It's weird. I was thinking that maybe all of the different darkness settings when you start a game... It's like drama factor. I was thinking maybe they were all different pieces of the same story, and when you complete all of them, the whole thing will make sense and you'll be able to solve it, but it doesn't seem like that. They don't seem to have anything to do with each other other than sharing the same format. So I don't get it, and I don't know if I'm failing or not. It says the case remains unsolved, and she kills herself, so it certainly feels like I'm failing, but I'm not sure. And what the heck can I do differently? Like, the only thing I didn't find was her freaking phone number. Everything else was spot on, except for maybe the weapon. Like, I don't get it. Uh, I'm gonna go look and see if I can find, like, a walkthrough or something. To see if I'm doing something wrong. Uh, so I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Uh, I, looked for a, I looked for a walkthrough and could not find one. I don't think one exists. Or at least not from a simple Google search. Not even the official site has anything. So, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so here's my thoughts on the game, since I guess this is the end. There's a lot I liked and a lot I didn't like, so I'm going to start with the negative so I can end on a positive. Okay. This game has severe communication issues with me, the player. It's weird. It doesn't work. Like... You go to start a new game, and you select the drama factor. Simple story, dark story, very dark story. 
Now, I didn't know whether these were intended to be completely separate playthroughs with everything being different, and you're supposed to, you know, just do three separate stories. Or if this is simply you getting to choose how dark you want the story to be, and they're all basically the same story, but just with the darkness level of it changing. Yeah, so were they separate? Or were you just choosing the darkness level? I don't know, because the game didn't tell me. I assumed that they were separate stories. However, I assumed wrong. Because they're not. Some things change. The names change. But... And the murder changes. But that's about it. See, I thought that each story... Um, each drama factor has a different murder and a different uh, set of names. But apparently that's not quite true. There is a different murder in each different drama factor. However, the names of the murderers and the victim and the ages and all that, all that is randomized with every new playthrough, regardless of which drama factor you select. So for some reason, the names and the ages and all that are randomized for no particular reason. Like, what's the point of that? I don't even get it. Like, why even randomize it? Surely this is... With a narrative-driven game like this, it's not meant to be replayed, right? And if it is, why would you it, it, why would you want to design it that way? Like adding in randomization factors to a narrative-driven game doesn't just doesn't make any sense. Like what? I mean, having random procedural generation and like a binding of Isaac and roguelikes and stuff like that, that makes sense. But in a game that's all about the story, why would you randomize anything? Like what? I just don't get that. So right off the bat, the game didn't communicate what this was to me at all. I thought these were completely separate pathways, but they're not. They're basically the same thing, but each one is, well, less dark, or more dark, depending on which one you select, has a different murder, and regardless of which one you select, there is randomized names and stuff. So, okay. Now here's the other major problem I have with the game. I don't get what happened in the end. Like, I, f I thought I solved the case because I filled out everything. And I guarantee you I got like 95% of everything right, if not 100%. Maybe I got the murder weapon wrong, but everything else was spot on. I filled out that freaking case and I submitted it. And yet, every single time, she killed herself. And it said, the case goes unsolved. So, does that mean I failed? Is that how it always ends? Or is that just because I messed up? I don't know because the game doesn't tell me. So in other words, what just happened is I unnecessarily played through the game three times, thinking that these completely different stories would maybe form some cohesive whole, but they don't. And then after unnecessarily playing through it three times when I should have just played through it once, I still don't even know if I finished the case or not. There's no walkthrough, so I can't even tell. Did I mess up or not? I don't know. I know I never saw what was on the phone in any of the three cases. But I still filled out all the details for the case, and as far as I can tell, I got it perfectly right. And yet it still says the case goes unsolved. So I, I play through it unnecessarily, three times, and I still don't even know if I finished the freaking case properly. So this game has severe communication issues. I mean, come on, game, tell me what's happening, please. I don't know what's happening. Communicate to me. It's really weird. That is some seriously bizarre design. I don't get it. Okay, so yeah, the major, major design flaws out of the way. Let's focus on the positive. This game is really well polished and really creepy. This whole system here in the beginning, where... When you start a new game... Uh, can I do it here? No, not really. But just the way that you're constantly, like, uh, moving to the side, and you're looking through all these pictures as you're introduced to stuff. And then when you start a new game... It does this, right? It doesn't, like, fade out or anything. It just very gently and very smoothly slides to the side and gives you all of this information. And then once you actually start the game, it slides back to the uh, the convent, the room, where you see all of the pictures on the wall. It's just, it's very smooth, and the art is really good. 
The art's really good, it's very detailed, and it's very creepy. So everything's just very smooth in the way it moves. I like the fact that you can interact with stuff a lot. You can move these pictures around and stuff like that. Very cool. So yeah, it's, it's very smooth, it's very polished, and it has really good art. And the art definitely lends it a very creepy look. I mean, just look at this. That is creepy. That is really good and creepy art. And this, like this, again, very smooth, very interactive, and really creepy. I just, I love the art style. This surrealistic, dark, and twisted look. We can just look in people's windows and see all of these strange things happening in these twisted homes. Just wonderful art style and wonderful art. Um, I think the, the fact that you have to investigate what happened and you have to fill in the details yourself is very cool. I like that. It really makes me feel like I'm a detective, because I'm actually trying to find details, and when I learn them, I'm actually filling them in myself. You know, it's not automatic. It's not like you... You do something, and the details are automatically filled in for you. You have to actually do it yourself, and I like that. It's very good. It's very satisfying. You know, it's not hand-holdy. So that's very cool. Uh, let's see, what else? I guess that's mostly it. I mean, it's got some pretty good sounds, like here. I like the ambient track here. Although, unfortunately, when you go to interrogate her, there is absolutely no sound whatsoever, as you can hear, or not hear. So, some of the sounds are pretty good. The ambient track back there when you're looking at the buildings. Uh, definitely more sounds would have been nice, like for here. Just anything. Anything but pure silence would have been good. But it's got some pretty cool sounds. So yeah, it's very polished, it's got very good art, I like the investigation mechanic, um, I don't really care for the interrogation. I mean, okay, I get that interrogating people in a game is hard, I've seen it done in some games before, and I've never liked it. It, it always, for me, it always comes down to a very mechanical experience, where you're thinking of, like, modifiers, right? And you're thinking of how to beat it. You know, it, it stops becoming about treating people as a human and starts becoming about, oh, I've pissed her off too much, so I better do something, I better say some random thing twice, uh, so some, some friendly thing a couple times to make her happy again, and then, you know, go back to the aggressive. Like, I start thinking, it, thinking of it in terms of spells, right? And, and numbers, like, you know, she starts out at zero, let's say. Or no, she starts out at, like, minus two. She's unhappy. So I do something friendly, and I cast a couple friendly spells, and I get her up to zero. Now she's neutral. And then I ask her something aggressive. She tells me, but then she goes back down to, like, minus one. So I need to cast a couple more friendly spells again. You know? It, that's how it works in my mind. Just because it's a very mechanical experience, this. It, it's really easy to see through what's happening. And it stops becoming human, and starts becoming just very mechanical and systems-like. So, I don't think the interrogation works. However, in the game's credit, I will say that in all of the interrogations I've seen in games, I've never liked any of them. They're always, they always are mechanical to me. I think it's just something that's really hard to do. So, to the game's credit, I don't think it did particularly bad with it. I just think it didn't do particularly good with it, and in fact, I've never seen anyone do interrogation in a game particularly good. So, let's see if there's anything else. I think that's about it. Okay, so yeah, to sum up my thoughts. It's an interesting game. It's creepy. I like it. It's got very good art. It's very polished. I like the whole journal... Uh, it, what would you call this? Like the, the investigation, fill in the information on your own. I've, I like that a lot. The game has some severe communication issues, and I still, even after playing it for two hours, have no idea what the F just happened. Don't even know if I properly finished it. Or what. 
And um, yeah, that's about it. It's got some very big problems, but it also has a lot to it that's good. So I guess I'll end it with that. It ended on a pretty positive note, I think. I always want to end on a positive note. I'm definitely intrigued by this, though. I've never seen a game that took any sort of format like this. It's very interesting. It's, it's sort of like a point-and-click adventure game, and it's kind of like a visual novel. It's, it's kind of like a bunch of things. So it's a very novel format. So, interesting, but very flawed game. And I hope to see more from the developer or developers behind this, because I'm intrigued by their work. Alright, hope everyone enjoyed my playthrough of In Torment.